Hey crafty cuties, how are you guys doing? I am actually just making some cute little ticket snippets today. They're for my Patreon members and I did actually film like an exclusive Patreon video doing these, but I thought I would go ahead also and film a video for you guys as well. But on this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about uh, assembly line style crafting because I do that a lot on this channel and it works so well for me. So um, sometimes you guys feel kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, overwhelmed, I guess, with doing projects like these. Like, I feel like you might see something like this on Instagram and then just feel like, okay, I can never make something like that. And I'm not trying to like say like I do such amazing work, but we all feel overwhelmed overwhelmed is not the word the right word but you get what I'm trying to say so I wanted to break it down for you guys and make it a lot easier I am filming on my phone today so you can let me know how that looks um but here we go so for assembly line style projects I like to have everything pretty organized as far as the steps go now my desk is not super organized right now but do what I say, don't do what I do, or however that saying goes. <laughs> so I like to have things, um, so basically if I'm gonna do the, the tickets first, I'm gonna have them all the way to the left, and then I'm gonna have my ribbon next. Then I, so yeah, maybe here, instead of just telling you, let's just do it together so you can actually see. I'll, I'll do the whole setup. We're gonna kind of move those out of the way. So I wanna have a ribbon. So what I do is I find, I kind of play around with snippets and I find what kind of layering system I like. Or I find what, like, what am I trying to say? Sorry guys, bear with me. I will play around and just use things from my stash and then I'll figure out like, okay, I really like how this one looks. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, set this out. And I'm gonna use that one for inspiration. And I'm gonna make all of these kind of the same uh, style. So we have washi tape first, we have the ribbon next. I do wanna add in some uh, some muslin here. This is not muslin, what do you call this? Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting over being sick and I can't think straight. Um, tea, cloth, I don't know. <laughs> some kind of, what is this called? Anyways, I'm gonna have this next and I'm gonna cut it down too. That's the, another important step is to have everything be ready to go so you can quickly grab it. So I'm just gonna cut that in half because I think I want these to be pretty small. And then after that step, I want to add in some labels that will go next. So I'm gonna go through and find some that I actually really like and want to grab from so that I'm not going away and grabbing from other places because that's when it kind of slows down the process. So we're really gonna have everything just ready to go. There we go. Now, most of those are blank labels. So what I like to do next is have some stamping ready to go. I like to use a stamp that has text on it I just think it works and I can use it over and over and it looks good every single time. So we'll have that stamp ready to go with the ink and everything. And then what else? What do we like next? Then to finish that off, I usually like to have some kind of sticker and I'm gonna use these cute little ones that I got from Taper Logi. I have quite a few. Um, now you can see we're getting into kind of a lot of different layers here, but I promise it's gonna go fast, okay. So then we have that, and then usually I'll finish it off with, I've been liking um, these little block stamps that I have, and I'm just gonna choose one so that it can be quick and easy, and I'll put it over here with the black ink. And then if I wanna finish it off with anything other than those, that's fine, fair game. I'll even have my stapler stapler out so that we can do this pretty quick. So now we're just gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is take my washi tape and hopefully we're staying in focus here. And I'm just gonna start putting a little piece down on each one. And to make this a little quicker, I think we'll just do six together right now, just so I can get through all of the steps with you guys. 
And so for me, and for these ticket snippets, I would say this is the perfect formula. We have some washi tape in the background. We have ribbon for some texture and it's pretty. Um, you could do lace or something like that. Then we have some other like fibers or whatever the heck this stuff's called because I can't think of it right now for texture and interest. And then we have labels to kind of bring in a focal point, the stamps to just add detail, stickers and the stamp just for more like of a focal point. And so to me, um, I love how this is turning out. And now we're just gonna cut, and I could have even pre-cut, sometimes I'll do that, uh, pre-cut these little ribbon pieces so that I can just easily grab them. But sometimes I do it this way as well. There we go. You could even make your ribbon a little longer than the tickets, kind of hanging over. But since I'm going to use this and it will kind of be hanging off the edges, I'm thinking I'm fine with that. And I'm just gonna actually glue for now because I might add some staple detail at the end. And I wanna layer these up so that you can kind of get a little peek at each prior layer, but I'm not gonna put too much time and energy. I could have layered the washi tape a bit different so that you could actually see it better, but that's okay because I'm gonna do a next round of this and you'll be able to get a better idea of what you wanna change up for the next round. But I will say a lot of times when I'm doing assembly line crafting or making little snippets like these, I do like 20 at a time. It's much easier to do that when I'm not filming because I have a bigger area to work with and I'm not, you know, concerned about where I need to keep things in view to the screen and all of that, but. Cheesecloth. There we go. That's what it's called. Cheesecloth. <laughs> so for this part, the cheesecloth is just going to get kind of layered in there. Now this might get messy because I have glue on my hands, but that's okay. So for this part, this can get a little messy because I have this cheesecloth that um, has like a really big, what do you call that? It's, it's really like it tears apart really easy, which is nice for crafting. I like how it looks, but it can get messy. We're just gonna place like a little piece on each one. Um, sometimes I like to use like gold thread. I think that looks really pretty. Something like that. Yeah, other laces that have lots of texture would be nice, but I love how cheesecloth looks. And you can tear it apart and have less or more. There we go. And so now we have the tickets. Okay, so for this part, I'm just gonna kind of layer that on and I could use glue as well, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my staple and just do like two little staples because then we're also holding on the cheesecloth as well. But for the smaller one, I might, oh, this is a sticker, right? I keep gluing on stickers, but that's okay. And I'll probably also come back and use the staple on that because it's gonna hold it a little bit better. Let's see how well these stickers hold. I got most of these labels from Taperlogy, which I always have a discount code. I just don't always post it on every video because I don't always use their products on every um, project I do, but I do have a discount code always. So I should maybe just post it on my videos for you guys. Okay. I like these labels that have like number. I don't know why, but I think they look fun. So we are what almost 10 minutes in and not only did we set up an assembly line, we've also almost finished six. And so you can see if you set up with more supplies, that's how, for me, I can get so many done in just a short amount of time. And I just like crafting this way for me because it's a little bit more mindless. You can kind of just go and have fun. And 
they're not all going to end up looking the same because you're going to change up little things here and there. The final touches, you can really kind of tweak and make everyone look different. But for me, a lot of times I'm making these things to go to a group of different people. So even, oh no, I ran out of staples. And at my new house here, I don't know where my new staples are. So we're just, we'll finish that part up later. I'll just come back and find my staples because I don't want to slow down this process here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue for now just to hold those down. This glue will hold anyways, but I just like the look of the staples actually. We could use the stapless stapler. The only thing is, is it doesn't go in very far, so I don't know if it'll go in far enough to hold this on, but we can use it anyways. Oh, that is so fun. And this is something that maybe I'll go through and also do like on the edges here but let's finish what we're doing. So it can be easy to get sidetracked. Now we're gonna use this little stamp that I have. And it doesn't have to be text, it's it's whatever you like. You don't have to use stamping. Um, You could do stenciling here, that would be really cool. You could add stickers, like how many of us have so many stickers that we never use? And then the next part, we're just going to use these clear stickers and I'll put that kind of off to the side because I like the fact that you can still use these labels. And so if I'm giving these to pen pals or whoever, um, it's kind of fun because I feel like it's kind of a finished product, but at the same time, uh, this might be a little too big. At the same time, you could still easily like put a date stamp on here or write something over because we used a really light um, ink for the text and so it's more of a background. You can totally finish that off. Oh, this is such a pretty sticker. Now I am trying to find smaller stickers for this because these are kind of smaller little tickets. I don't want to There we go. Just a couple more here. These are such cute stickers. But anyways, I do hope that you guys got some kind of inspiration from this. A little pine cone, that's cute. And I hope that this helped you out so you don't feel too intimidated to do a project like this because it can be just so easy if you set it up just right. Okay, there we go. And then like I said, I have this stamp that I like to use sometimes, maybe just on the edge a bit. Again, just for some, some detail. trying not to stamp on my new, I have a new like backdrop and my last one I was so mindless about <laughs> making sure that I wasn't getting ink everywhere but they get dirty so fast and I kind of want to try and make this one, keep this one pretty. And then sometimes, like I said, I'll even go back through and maybe add a little bit more but I think these have plenty of detail and so I think I'm just going to leave those be. I know I skipped one there but there we go. I think these are so fun and I hope that you will pull out your um, scraps. This would be a great project to do yeah, with scraps or just really anything in your stash that you've been wanting to use. And I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys and yeah, thank you so much guys. Oh, PS, in the if you scroll down to where it says like share or uh, what else, like copy link, I think. There's one that says, thanks, I have a new button. It's a thanks button. Anyways, I thought that was cool. I, I didn't actually know that was there. And I noticed it on another content creators page, but okay guys, thank you so much. Have a good day, bye.